Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Niall and there are no prizes for guessing what we're talking about this week. As you can see here, next to me we are joined by the SVS SB1000 Pro, one of the big hitters on the, um, I don't know if entry level is the right phrase here, but it's SVS's entry level subwoofer and we're going to be talking about what makes this so special and why this is a unit that dominates the landscape in terms of subwoofers right now. Again, I've got to say a huge thank you for all the support on the recent uploads. Again, if this is a video that you do enjoy or find really useful, make sure to leave a thumbs up on it and leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. We'd love to know if there's anything in particular that you'd like to try and see us get our hands on for future content as well, and we'll always do our best to make that happen. But um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get stuck into it. So the first thing we're gonna to touch upon is SVS as a manufacturer. What exactly they bring to the table as a brand? And um, really, I would consider them to be a subwoofer specialist manufacturer they do offer offer other speakers outside of subwoofers but to me subwoofers are definitely the area where they shine they've got a few different ranges you've got the SB range which is what the SB1000 Pro is a part of there's also a PB range as well which is very very similar in the way it goes up through the um, through the different models that they offer the big difference being that the SB is a sealed box unit whereas the PB is a ported box unit the units where they've got the uh, the ports on the front as you might have guessed they also do a couple of others like the PC range and and then they've got their flagship range as well which are the ultras now the ultras are absolutely flipping insane they're absolutely huge boxes if you're looking to cause a tremor in your local area if you've got the space for it they are absolutely insane pieces of kit but for most people, something like the SB1000 here does a fantastic job. If you look a little bit into SVS as a manufacturer, one of their biggest aims, one of their biggest goals when they produce these subwoofers is to make something that makes the base as tight and as accurate as possible. And the SB1000 does a fantastic job of that. Now, part of the reason for that is like a lot of other manufacturers do. I mean, Kefra, another brand that are really cool for this. They've kind of got their reference units and they try and filter down the features of the reference models at the very top and put them in the more accessible models and that's exactly what SVS have done with the SB1000 Pro. So the SB1000 Pro is coming in at £679 at full retail. It's got a 12 inch driver on the front. It weighs in at 11.9 kilograms. But the big thing here is this is only a 13.5 inch cube. So for the size of this, because that's pretty small for a subwoofer, pretty compact, it puts out an absolutely insane amount of noise. The original SB1000 was on the market for a long time and was a big hit again because of its compact nature and the sound that it puts out. But what the Pro has done with that model is taken it to the next level with the amplification that's built into this thing, which allows it to, again, produce that accurate, tight, low end that SVS are really known for, whilst also adding a couple of party tricks as well. So the amplifier that's built into the SB1000 Pro and downscaled from the reference models that SVS produce is the Sledge STA325D. I think I've remembered that correctly. And in my opinion, the biggest feature that that unlocks within this that wasn't in the previous model is the ability to connect to the subwoofer wirelessly. Now, if you guys have watched any of the recent uploads on this channel, you know that I'm a huge, huge fan of having a fantastic app to support what is already a fantastic product. We saw that with the Episolo, we've seen it with the Weem, and we're seeing it again here with the SVS subwoofer because what this allows you to do is fine tune the sound to a level that you just, it's absolutely incredible. You can adjust everything you could possibly think of using the SVS app. And I think I've got on record many times by saying I'm someone that's not a huge fan of having a load of low end. So the thought of adding a subwoofer into a system can sometimes be a little bit daunting. You don't want to be blowing things out the water. You don't want over the top bass. Or for me, at least personally, I don't want over the top bass. So the fact that you can go into the app, make some real fine tune adjustments and kind of tailor that sound to what you're looking for is always a huge, huge incentive when you're looking, to, looking at what options are out there. And again, the app that supports this absolutely outstanding SVS have done an incredible job you can also see on the rear of the unit there's the option to obviously change the levels manually using the physical buttons on the display in the top right hand corner as well as that as well as that you've also got your kind of standard set of interconnects the speaker cable connections and the line level ins and outs as well so the SP1000 Pro is a subwoofer that I've heard many times in multiple systems but for the purposes of this video I did put it into the system of the LS50 Metis just to refresh my memory and get a real taste for what it's like and I've got to say I mean the 
get a 50 meters or a speaker, especially for a bookshelf, we've done a, a review on these on the channel, they're absolutely outstanding, but the SVS helped elevate them to that next level. And again, I've got to say, the LS50s aren't so, on a speaker that lacks in that low end, but it almost feels like when you add the subwoofer in, it's very hard to go back to having having the system without the subwoofer. It's um, If the space is there, it's certainly a worthwhile addition in my opinion. When it comes to which subwoofer is going to be right for you, I think that's really going to depend on how you're using your system and what it's for. If you're someone that's going to be listening to a lot of music, then I think the SB range is, is the one to go for. I think it offers a bit more of a, a tight, accurate sound, really replicating, you know, the, the hit of a bass string, that kind of thing. But if you're someone that's going to be using this more for a home cinema system, that's when the PB range, the ported range, comes into its own element because those ports and the design of that help create a lower frequency that's going to get those big booms that you get in the action films, that kind of thing. So the general consensus, if you ask me, SV for music, PB for home theatre. I think just to sum up what makes the SB1000 Pro so spectacular is again, that compact design putting out the insane sound that it does. If you're someone that's looking to add a subwoofer into your system, but you don't necessarily have the most room, this is an absolutely fantastic solution. And there is a reason why it's dominated the, the market over the last 18 months, whether it be the pro version or the non-pro that went before it. It really is a fantastically incredibly well engineered piece of kit and I would thoroughly thoroughly recommend it if you're someone that's in the market for a subwoofer it's 100% worth checking this out whether it's the 1000 Pro or just SVS in general as I say for me they are very much the go-to guys in terms of subwoofer manufacturing right now but um, as I said that's just about going to close this one off guys if you did enjoy the video make sure again to leave a big thumbs up on the video any questions you've got about this product or any future content be sure to leave that in the comment section down below again really appreciate the support you guys have been giving the channel recently and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend we'll see you all next week